All right, this one, as you might be able to see, is gonna be a real challenge. So I got this for free at a thrift store. I was pretty happy about it. It's obviously a World Peacekeeper APC. Had one of these once, it was great. But this one, somebody seems to have purposefully destroyed. Probably a child, I would guess. So we've got every single hatch missing. We've got a missing wheel. And a whole bunch of parts broken off, like the rear, one of the rear view mirrors and one of the uh, windows, which is supposed to go right here. And somebody put ink all over it. And the turret is all messed up. But do not despair because I have a 3D printer and some skill. And I'm going to do my best to turn this into something that looks good. All right, well, I printed this wheel here on my 3D printer. Works pretty good. I measured it, but the measurement's not perfect. I got it slightly off. You can't really tell too well. It's a little bit narrow. So from there, yeah, see. So that bugs me, but whatever. Can't be perfect always. And I'm not going to reprint it, because that would be a waste. All right, so this right back here is the um, back door to the uh, APC and this is the other part of the back door because as you can see <clears throat> this part's missing so I'm gonna put a door back there it's gonna work good all right check it out first try and it is beautiful yeah super happy with how it fits all right so next we're gonna cut this so that uh, it's not blocking the back door area, so we can have soldiers in there. And then we're going to cover this with something. And it's gonna look good. All right, I wanted to show how this thing works, because it's awesome. You just have to cut a straight line, best as you can. So it goes like a hot knife through butter to plastic. Oh, it's so satisfying. Cutting all this plastic out. Oh yeah. I love it. That's going to be a problem, but... Figure something out. Ew, it smells like burning plastic. Ugh. Ugh, I feel like I can taste it. Ugh. All right, we have removed it. It's beautiful, or at least it will be. All right, so I've added on some paint to this. Paint always really changes the, the view of something, the appearance anyway. And then we're working on the gun. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm cutting the seats uh, for the inside and making the floor for the inside of the APC. And I'm calling this a uh, heat which is Hazardous Environment uh, Armored Transport. And then as you can see, it's all drying and squished together. Just used super glue. Now it'll be the inside. It'll make a lot more sense once it's done. All right, so we have the cannon mounted and we have the back area covered up now. All right, this is complete. Uh, as you probably saw, I'm calling this the heat which is the Hazardous Environment Armored Transport. Very happy with how this turned out. As you know, I found this for free because the guy just gave it to me because it was missing a wheel at a thrift store. <clears throat> so I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> so I created that wheel out of 3D printing, as I think I showed you earlier. Not quite perfect, but okay. Added a ton of stuff to it. Uh, got that gun looking really good. Added a cannon onto that and then also a grenade launcher. I've got a guy that's a little too high in here, so I added a little thing for him to see out of with Legos. 
Uh, I probably could have lowered the seat, but I, I think that looks fine. My printer, I think, is the extruder needs to be replaced. Got a spare tire up on the roof, as well as, well as the decontamination tubes to decontaminate everybody. And we've got a little stairway into the inside. And you can kind of see in there, maybe, a little bit. And yeah, seats inside. Uh, I changed out the exhaust because the exhaust was missing. Whoever owned this before me wasn't very kind to it. So we've got our zombie uh, research squad, uh, zombie outbreak research squad, Zor's uh, armored transport. Very happy. All right, thanks for watching.